All right, the next story quest is conscripts and contingencies. My ability, my ability to oh, yeah, so just, yeah, that didn't work out well. My ability to speak and enunciate well. It's not going great. Um, so this might be the last one. We'll see how I feel by the end of it. I've already done a good amount today, so I'm I'm, I'm happy with that. But I'm gonna do this one. Given to us by Hian in the Enclave in his you know private chambers, the meeting room. Cutscene fade to black. Of course, they're not talking for me. So, my friends, that which we feared has come to pass. Yotsu has regained her memory and returned to the Imperial Fold. It is, by any measure, a cruel twist, not least for Gosetsu, but one which does not invalidate our agreement. According to the terms of the contract, uh, we were bound to surrender Yotsu into the Garlean's hands should her condition improve prior to the hour of the exchange. By that reckoning, all is, if not as it should be, then as it must be. This I can accept. But what I cannot accept are the unconscionable lengths to which Asahi went to achieve this outcome. Given his recent conduct and his, his apparent admiration for Xenos, it is plain he cannot be trusted. And that is to say nothing of the unexplained encounters he insists on bringing to our meetings. Uh, sorry, unexplained containers. There we go. My bad. Whatever the ambassador is planning, I think it, it, it unlikely our negotiations will end peacefully. Negotiations will end peacefully. Blech. In the event of hostilities, the safety of the conscripts must be our first concern. As such, I would have an escape route in place before the meeting begins. A wise precaution. If the main structure of the Castrum Fluminus is to be the stage for the, sh for the exchange, then I believe a thorough inspection is in order. The Citadel has stood empty ever since the Imperial withdrawal. Uh, while we took steps to ensure that it could not be def uh, defended by an occupying force, it is entirely possible that the ambassador has arranged things there to his advantage. I will slip inside, slip inside, not slip inside, <laughs> and make certain we have an, an unobstructed exit. Pray allow me to join you. I have some experience of Imperial facilities, and should matters take a turn for the worse, I would hope to be of at least some use. Very good. That should be enough to guarantee us a way out of the castrum. Beyond that, however, we will need a ship to ferry the conscripts back to the Enclave. Even with every skiff we have, it would take several trips to evacuate everyone. A confederate uh, Sekibun, on the other hand, or Sekibune, um, would require only a single run and leave us far less vulnerable on the water. Assuming, of course, Rasho can be con uh, convinced to part with one. Might I take the lead on this? I've had dealings with Rasho and his pirates before. And I won't be alone, will I, Mercy? You can count on me. You can count on me. Much appreciated. I quite fancy parlaying with pirates again. It's just a shame Lise won't be there to, to reprise her role. Hmm. I am certain you would make a, per a persuasive pair, but I think I will accompany you to those negotiations all the same. My lord, the rule of Doma should not be seen consorting with common brigands. Come now, Yugiri. They stood with us against the Empire. If we would ask their aid once more, we must treat them as equals. My presence shall serve to demonstrate our sincerity. Indeed, my lord. Pray forgive my presumption. By your leave, Master Alphano and I shall be about our task. Don't be... Don't... Don't ask for forgiveness. You're a trusted advisor. Your ideas and opinions are highly valued, as they should be. And we should be on our way to Ono Koro. Time is short, and Rasho may take some convincing. Goes at all. Time kind of flies sometimes. Like, it's hard to believe this has already been 4 minutes and 15 seconds. I don't feel like I've been talking that much. 2.52 to teleport to Ono Koro. Yes, please. Regulators, mount up. It's a cold, dark day. Cold, dark night. In the towns, but what the, I don't remember the words that well at all. I'm so sorry for failing as your resident bod. Rasho, haven't seen you in a while. I've, I've mostly dealt with Tan Sui in the in the recent past. Cutscene. 
atop the, the myriad stairs, wooden structures, whatever. Now there is a face I did not expect to see. What brings the noble lord of Doma into the company of bilge rats such as we? If you come to offer Doma and chains in place of Garlean ones, then I'm afraid you've wasted a trip. <laughs> what fine subjects you would make. With your fleet at our disposal, our restoration efforts would be hastened tenfold. But let us speak seriously. I stand before you not to demand your fealty, but to request your aid once more. He goes on to explain that we get the camera tilt up. Black screen. Explanation over. Mayhap you are confused. Doma's liberation was but a means to an end. We aided you only to save ourselves. Now we have no such incentive. We have sworn no oath to you and will not come running like hounds at their master's whistle. And I would not presume to treat you thus. I come to position your cooperation as an ally of equal standing. Equal standing, you say? Seems a bit lopsided to me. Where's the profit for us in all this? Profit? Must you always think in such short-sighted short terms? Have you ever heard of doing the right thing? Have you ever heard of pirates, little miss? You'll, you'll find we're simple souls. You pay, you pay our tithe, you sail in peace, deny us our due, and we take it by force. We'll pull you out of the water if we see you drowning, but we are not in the business of doing something for nothing. She is not happy. Calm yourself, Mistress Alice. We do not come here to demoralize. We came here to talk, and there's more to be said. According to the records recovered for after the liberation, relatives of your Doman-born brethren were among those conscripted into the Imperial Army. And as you may be aware, we recently negotiated the return of said conscripts. Many, alas, will arrive to find no families waiting for them, no homes to grant them shelter. I would ask that you offer them a place in the Confederacy. You would not be rescuing strangers, but welcoming brothers and sisters into your ranks. And has not the Confederacy been in need of new recruits? They look to each other. Talk a bit. You seem well informed of our affairs, Lord Ian. The losses we suffered at the Garlean's hands are no secret, but since we drove them out of Doma, the Ruby Sea has come alive with traders and travelers. So many vessels to tax, so few pirates to tax them. We could do with some more hands on deck, and, de and doubly so if they're familiar with the inner workings of the Empire. <sighs> Russia had closed his eyes, thought for a second, nodded and smiled. Very well, the Confederacy agrees to your request. You will have your ship. But before that, you must do something for me. The vessel I have in mind was damaged during the battle with the Empire. Though we have mended her, she has yet to be declared seaworthy. She is sound enough down below, but when you load her up with conscripts and the waterline rises, those upper planks had best be set, uh, uh, had best be free of cracks. Assuming you want your people to stay dry, you will do me the favor of swimming around the hole to check for weaknesses. That is, if Doman lords are not averse to getting their robes wet. Not this, Doman lord. We have each ins we if we each inspect a third of the ship, it shall be done in, in a thrice. That is the spirit. The ship is moored at Quick uh, Quickscape Pier. Our, our apprentice shipwright will be on deck to hear your report. Look for a lad named Ihanashi. And I thought I had a knack for parlaying with pirates. For the record, my previous attempt was, un was an unmitigated success, and yes, I should have quit while I was ahead. Ian laughs. Alice shakes her head, and you kind of shrug. And we go off to inspect the ship. Well, well, well. I thought the room was exaggerated, but the young lord lives up to his reputation. This is Tan Sui. That's about accurate, I think, for Tan Sui's um, voice actor. He's got a bit of this to it. It's, it's not all straight, like, British. It's, he's, I think he's got a bit of Irish or Scottish in him. Um, fuck, I went the wrong way, but whatever. I think the other way is just a drop. However, if you're mounted, you, you survive with at least one hit point, so... Whatever. Wasted time, but... Not time wasted? Uh, yeah, it's still wait, yeah, whatever. And yeah, this is probably gonna be my last one. I'm still talking alright, but not fantastically. Alright, let's jump down here. Oops. Where's the click? Clickable. Clickable. Suspect suspect whole plank inspected. 
Upon closer inspection, you spot a small crack in one of the planks. Okay, we'll let him know. Swim around the boat. Alice is doing her inspection. What you gotta say, Alice? For once, I'm actually glad you Geary isn't here. I doubt she would have taken kindly to a pirate inviting Hian to inspect his hole. Swim over to Hian near the stern, because bow is front, stern is back, I think. The water is so invigorating. I have not swum in the Ruby Sea since. Ah, but I should be concentrating on the task at hand. Suspect hull plank, number two, of two. Longer interaction here. You see no signs of damage here. We got to get back on, can I go through here? No, of course not, even though I should be able to, but whatever. Get onto the ship proper and um, tell Ihanashi what we found. Cutscene. Alsei joins us. I am the shipwright, uh, apprentice shipwright. Did you find anything that need, might need attention? The section I inspected seems solid enough. You explain what you found. Oh, on the port side, near the bow, you say? All right, I'll have a, I'll have a look and see what I can do. He in comes up as well. My apologies, I seem to have lagged behind. I could float in that gentle sea all day. Otherwise, I'm happy to report no visible cracking or holes in my section of the hole. He looks shocked, by the way, Ihanashi. You, 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 your, your lord, Hien, the captain sent you to inspect the hole? Come, we have mercy. Forgive us this discourtesy, discourtesy, my lord. He shakes his head. Ha, it is quite all right. In fact, I rather enjoyed it. I take it you are of Doma? Yes, my lord. The Imperials took my father away after the uprising, and I had nowhere else to turn. The Confederacy became my family. But someone told me they're releasing the conscripts now. Maybe my father will be among them. Not that I can go back. There's no leaving once you joined. How fares our lady? Is she seaworthy? This is a, a, a random voice. It is indeed. Um... Captain, we, we found a small crack in the port side, but I'll have it fixed before you know it. He runs off. The large. I was going to say Galkin, but Rogadin. Rasho. I see you have met the boy. Did he tell you a story? He babbles when he is nervous. Should his father be among the conscripts, as he hopes, I mean to give him the choice to leave this life. If he so chooses, I expect you to see they are provided for. I have heard that those who join the Confederacy, force, Confederacy forswear all ties with kin and homeland. Is that oath so easily put aside? If I allow it, I see him. I see in him the lad I was twenty-five years ago. You say the words, you mean them, but the, but the yearning for home still lingers. He looks down, eyes closed. My family is long dead, and I know this life is my lot, but he was uh, sca but he has scarce dipped his toes with us. If there is a life for him in Doma, he should have the chance to live it. Well said. The Empire's conquest has uprooted many and more, be it in Yangtze or out on the Ruby Sea. We have a duty to ensure that Ihanashi and others like him are free to dwell where they desire. Then the matter is settled. I will make preparations to cast off. Sorry for that sound, my, my mat. Well, my friends, it seems we have our ship. Let us return to the Enclave. Report to Ianashi. Somewhere. Oh, he's back in Kaiken? Or Kai... Kienken? Kienken? Kienken. Isn't there usually like a button? At okay, fuck off. Whatever. Um, can can there we go. Bow, bow, bow. Three seventy six to teleport. Yes, ma'am, sir. Please, people. Ish. Fingerprint does match phone. You biatch. Jazz wolf over two. Hands quarters. Large domicile. Of course, I'm, I'm expected Kienkin Guardsman. Guard, guard, guardman? Guardsman? Hien. What you got, bud? What you gonna do? But it seems Yugiri and Alphino completed their task before us. They have been waiting. We scouted the structure and determined the swiftest path to safety. 
In the event of hostilities, we will lead the conscripts outside with all possible haste. From, from there, the Confederacy has pledged a ship to ferry us across the one river. Now we have but to attend to the exchange and pray to the Kami these precautions were unnecessary. All right. Um, we get a medicine. Sorry, it's not medicine. We get a we get a choice of. It is a medicine, but it's like a it's a booster. So strength eight percent, max eighty two for five for thirty seconds. Dexterity, it's not gonna be. Vitality would be a health booster, so probably best for tank. Intelligence obviously would be best for red mage. Strength would be best for dragoon. And we get two of them. We get two of whatever kind we pick. So if I want to boost my health for 30 seconds, I can't imagine. But I always try to choose something for tank purposes. However... As like, yeah, we got one, another cooldown option, I guess. Fucking why not? So I chose the Vitality Potions. That's it. I just missed the 1630 mark. It's fine. Um, that's the end of this video. It's the end of this quest. It's, I think it's the end of the videos I'm going to make tonight because just getting less and less able to speak eloquently and clearly and with enough um, enunciation for my liking. But I'll see you guys next time. I hope you have a good night, good day, etc. And hope you enjoyed. Bye.